Okay, so in this part of, of the series, we're gonna cover the lead hand, particularly the jab first. So everybody talks about how the most important weapon in, in fighting in general is, is the jab. And for good reason, the jab is, is how we set our tempo, the jab is how we keep our range or distance, the jab is how we set up a lot of big weapons. So I'm gonna cover the jab first. So I'm gonna throw a real jab, and then I'm gonna throw a feint. And I'm gonna show you guys the difference between the two. But look at the intensity. I want you guys to monitor the same intensity that I keep for the real jab is the same intensity I'm gonna to bring to the fake jab or the feint. So I'm gonna have Kruyai holding for me, Kruyai Belton. Real jab. That's a real jab. Now we're setting the parameters and, and the conditions. We're setting up the conditions to make them respect our fake jab. So instead of just throwing the fake, I'm gonna set it up with something else, a fake and then a cross. So real jab, fake, and cross all the way through. Real jab, fake jab, cross. Woo! There goes the glove. And, and, and honestly, you can even surprise the pad holder at times, as we've seen here. Um, <laughs> It's a, it's a beautiful thing to set up the, uh, the jab with, with feints because a lot of times you don't have to throw a different shot. So what we'll do, what we'll do here is real jab, fake jab, real jab. So here's this. Real jab, fake jab, boom, real, bang. Again, real jab, fake, bang. So if he were to defend in that middle in between, if he overly defends, I always will land my follow-up jab. And this just keeps them off their game. If every single time I throw, I'm throwing a real jab, it's pretty predictable. Even if I'm fast, it doesn't really matter. I have to add some trickery, and some nuance, and some subtlety to my striking. Um, hope that makes sense. So a drill that we can actually use when we're working this is a real jab, a fake jab, and a real jab again. Notice how he reacts. I want, it, I want to really have you build in this ability to, to identify when a person's reacting, the follow up. And that's the timing and the cadence that works the best. So real jab, fake jab, notice how he reacts. And even if he doesn't react in a defensive way, he could react and pretend he's gonna catch my fake jab, even with this left hand. So real jab, boom, fake jab, boom, bang, just to get my timing a little bit better um, as a striker. Because that's how people are gonna uh, react. They're gonna do something. Again, if I just landed a real jab, that, real, that fake follow up, it sells really well, and we set up the right parameters and conditions for the uh, feint and the real shot.